gonna show you how to replicate uh, an old film camera look using Lightroom. First things first, choose an image which looks like it might have been shot on a film camera. I'm gonna hit that auto button, like always, and we're not gonna use it. So I'm gonna crank up the exposure for all you film photographers out there overexposing this one for you. Contrast gonna come down slightly. Gonna pop the highlights up to, to 15. The shadows, I'm gonna bring the shadows down. As you can see on the wood, it just needs to be a little bit darker. The whites can stay where they are. Decrease the blacks ever so slightly. I normally start off by doing it. Need to crop the photo. So I want this, this line here going down the middle. Uh, and as you can see, it's just slightly off. So I need to bring it in. Straighten it. Friggin' dog upstairs is annoying. So, yep, got the line going through here and it's like matches where the, the, uh, the concrete stops. I'm done with the lighting now, so I'm gonna scroll down. I'm not gonna touch the, the point curve in this photo. So I'm gonna make this slightly warmer. I'm just gonna boost the, uh, the yellows in this photo. Maybe the purples as well. Now I wanna make it really like retro and vintage looking. So I'm gonna bring the vibrance right down. I'm gonna bring the vibrance down to about 50. And I'm also gonna bring the, the saturation down ever so slightly as well. It's gonna go to about minus 20. And I actually might, I'm gonna boost the yellows even higher and maybe the purples as well. We're looking quite retro. I'm gonna to go to the orange, so it increases the color almost everywhere actually. It's on the floor, on the sand as well. Um, so I'm gonna raise this to about 30. I'm gonna make it darker to about minus 20. See the yellows, I think this should do something as well, ever so slightly. I'm gonna raise it. And I'm gonna raise the whites on the yellows as well to around about 10, 12. Yeah, 12, I'll leave it at 12. I'm gonna look at the color grading here. The shadows might drop a little bit and go towards the blues. And on the midtones, I'm gonna sway towards the yellows. When I do the midtones and the shadows, I like to make them in contrast with each other. So if I go yellow on one, I always go blue on the other. If I go green on one, I'll go purple on the other. If I go red on one, I'll go turquoise on the other, I wanna say. Turquoise or teal or whatever color that is. I'm, I'm just going to keep the highlights as they are. I'm going to boost the texture slightly and I'm going to drop the clarity. I'm going to dehaze to about 14. A little bit of minus on the vignette. This is where we're really going to emulate the film now. So with the grain, we're going to knock this up to about 85, 80. Yeah, I'm going to go to 85. I'm going to really bust out. So if I, whoa, that was way, way too, oh, what have I done? That's way too zoomed in. So if I just go here, it really makes the uh, the image look more like it's uh, taken on a film camera. And I'm also going to sharpen the image as well to about 100. Decrease the colour noise reduction just to add even more grain. Yeah, I'm going to enable the lens correction. I can see a few little distractions in the photo which I want to take out. First one's this, uh, this rock. So I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to grab the old little rubber. And we're just gonna watch that disappear. Boom, that's gone. And this little mud spot here, and also the one at the back. So we've got rid of those, that looks cool. And then there's also this little pin as well that I don't like, and maybe even this hook. Okay, that hook, that hook has not actually, I mean, that line doesn't even look too bad, but I need to amend this. So I don't really want the line there. So there you go, it's gone. Nice pair of Nike slide-ons. If that doesn't make a, a photo look cool, I don't know what does. So we're definitely keeping those in there. So when you put the masking in, you wanna, you wanna see, oh, where is the light coming from? Obviously here, the light is coming from this area. It's the only open space where you can see the light. So I'm gonna put a nice round mask in here. This will just really make the photo pop, so we're gonna add some exposure in here. A tiny bit of blacks, and gonna increase the temperature, just slightly yellow. And then we can take away some of the clarity and texture. Okay, and then the, the foreground, so this bit here wants a little bit of darkening. Pop this linear gradient in. I'm just gonna decrease the exposure increase the contrast, take away some of the blacks, maybe go slight, ever so slightly blue on it. Take away clarity, take away texture and increase the dehaze. We've gone from this shot, which doesn't look like it's been taken on a film camera at all, because it hasn't, it's been taken on a DSLR. So yeah, we've gone for this nice retro film look. So boom, there it is. I'm liking the vibe of this shot. 
I feel like I've emulated the, the film look quite well. Yeah, another little tip in Lightroom as well. So if you go to the top, you click on the presets. And then if I want to add this preset, I'd, I don't know, I'll call it, I've already got a film look. So I'll go film look number two. And I'll just save that. And uh, yeah, that's in there. Just have a play around with it. Find what feels good to you. But thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing plenty more of these Lightroom tutorials. So uh, yeah, be sure to stick around. And um, thanks again. God, this is lingering on for too long now. Just, uh, just, just like the post, subscribe, do all that juicy goodness. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.